Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a little grocery haul, honey. Um, and this is actually my first one, so I'm super excited. Uh, just to give you guys some disclaimers, I'm working with about $100 um, this week, and usually I work with like 70, but my groceries are just for me, me alone. Um, it's only for one week, and I also give myself about 20 to $25 for eating out, so all together it's like $100 that I'm working with on a weekly basis. Also, I tend to um, eat very light during the week, and I count my calories, so I always say I live on a diet, but that's what works for me to help me maintain my weight, so I buy food in small portions so that I'm not tempted to overeat because I have the appetite of a grown man. So, if I'm sounding a little froggy or a little manly, I actually just woke up and it's like seven o'clock at night, so y'all have to excuse that, but I'm gonna try to get some car clips for y'all before it gets too dark, so let's go. I forgot to show you guys that I will be using my cash wallet today. Um, so let's just go ahead and flip to this gas envelope. And not gas, what am I talking about? Grocery. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I just woke up. I am so discombobulated. So I have the $100 in there. Okay, y'all so so far I am liking shopping at night I usually don't shop at night because I don't really like to be out of my house at night but I slept so much today that I didn't you know I just got up super late but it's like not that many people here and it's been like really easy just kind of like moving around so I'm really liking shopping at night
Okay guys, so we are back in the car. We are done grocery shopping. Um, I'm gonna get on home so that you guys can see everything that I bought. I'm gonna get everything taken out of the bag, let you know what my grand total was, and then also let you know what my meal plans are for the upcoming week so that you can understand some of the things I bought. Um, there are some of the groceries back there. That silver thing is my um, shade for my car, in case you're wondering. But there they are. Some are on the floor. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get home. Okay, y'all, so I am back home, out of breath. I went ahead and brought my groceries upstairs um, to my apartment. So I live on the second floor because I don't like for people to live above me. So, and I only like to make um, two trips when I'm getting my groceries out of the car. So I had to bring like everything in, in two trips. So I am out of breath. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the groceries and then I'm gonna take everything out and then we'll go over the grand total. Okay, y'all, so here are all the groceries in in this bag. Um, I'm gonna show, show you guys everything. I'm gonna spread out here um, in my office space because y'all can see <laughs> it's my office. Um, my kitchen is really small. Y'all know how these one bedroom apartments are. So yeah, my kitchen is small. So we're gonna just spread everything out in the office area so that we can go over everything. Okay, y'all, so here we are with everything laid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go down the line with how much everything costs. I'm just gonna read off my receipt. So my bananas here were 83 cents. My whipping cream was $4.98, $4.98. Um, my sandwiches were $4.50 each and I got five of them. Um, my butter was $2.28. My garlic powder was $4.98 my onion powder was also $4.98 and parsley was $3.98 um, my skinless chicken breast was $7.30 my coffee over here was I just lost it uh, $6.98 my fettuccine noodles were $1.98 the shredded parmesan was $2.78 the cheeto box was $6.48 and my water that I already put up was $3.48. And my salmon meals were um, $8, totaling $16 a piece. Okay, so for my meal plan. So for breakfast, I eat a very light breakfast. I am not a breakfast person unless it's like a social thing and I'm going out with like family or friends. Um, so for breakfast, I am just doing some breakfast bars, fiber bars, my coffee, and then I still have yogurt left over from last week. I think I have like five little um, cartons of yogurt, so I will eat that too. So that's breakfast. Bananas, I just kind of eat whenever, but yeah, I guess you could, you could lump those into breakfast. So for lunch, we are just doing the sandwiches and the um, Cheetos. So I usually will pick something to eat for lunch and then just eat that same thing for that whole week. So last week I had um, tuna with some crackers and I just ate that the whole week. So I eat the same thing for lunch every day. And then for dinner, I'm going to eat these H-E-B salmon meals um, twice. So I honestly have never made salmon myself and I really want to like learn some learn how to make it and learn how to figure out how to do it myself. I recently started eating salmon because the American Heart Association, Association recommends that we eat um, fish twice a week. So this is my twice a week serving of fish and it's like certain fish. So it's like salmon, tuna, mackerel, and some other stuff, you could Google it. But yeah, so I get my two servings of fish a week for my heart health. Um, and then I'm going to make some, as you can probably tell, chicken fettuccine alfredo. I have not made that in forever. It's been so many years since I've made it. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna use um, just plain chicken breast, the noodles. For fettuccine alfredo, um, you don't actually use any actual like whole pieces of onions or garlic, you use powder. So I'll be using powder, the parsley is like a garnish, and then I will be making my own alfredo sauce um, with the whipped cream, the cheese, the, and the butter. So I will end the vlog with showing you guys some clips of me making the fettuccine alfredo in case you are interested, but this is my little grocery vlog slash haul. If you enjoyed it, please give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And um, yeah, thank you for shopping with me. And if you are one of my subbies and viewers that watch my budget videos, you know that I told you guys how I was struggling to like grocery shop consistently, but ever since I started putting these grocery stickers in my planner, it definitely incentivizes and gives me some motivation to get my groceries checked off. So I'm just gonna put a little check mark next to today's date because we have done our groceries for the week.